How you doing, girl? Ooh, got close. You doing okay? It's cold. You alright? So, Turkey 2, what did we learn this past week or so? Lots of lessons for everybody to be better prepared. Than, really? So, okay, please get a piece of paper. Write those bullet points down because I won't remember it. I'm getting old, Turkey 2. We're getting old. Welcome to Tundra, Tennessee, guys. <laughs> How y'all doing today? Are you thawing out at all? Just a little bit? I think we're starting to just a little bit. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. <laughs> all right, so hope you guys are doing well out there. We are finally busting up to 26 degrees. We've been fighting a lot of wind uh, since last night. I may have to move back into the barn. Don't know if you're going to be able to hear me or not. But tomorrow we're going to be 42. Hallelujah! Okay. I'm going to easily come over here and get into this rental vehicle. Look at that. This is what a farm vehicle looks like. So I'm going to get in here because James has been having it heated up. Hang on just a second. So the million dollar question is, are you over it? <laughs> I'm so over it. Aren't you over it? I mean, a couple of cold nights and whatnot is one thing, but guys, we, y'all and me and all of us together, my lips are so frozen. Uh, we've been battling a lot the past couple of weeks, haven't we? People have been sick and the weather and now we've been living in a tundra. We got down to three degrees last night. That's bad enough for anybody, but the wind chill, holy guacamole, the wind was pretty, pretty rocking. So everything froze over really hard because of the wind. So here is what I want you to think about. We've sort of touched on this. I'm going to try to keep the sunlight out. <laughs> I hate this vehicle, by the way. No offense to you, but if you drive a Grand Jeep Cherokee, okay. So we've been driving this thing since our vehicle is still in the shop. Yeah. It was supposed to come out last week. Now it's been pushed up another week. How many weeks has this been pushed up? <laughs> so the insurance is not super happy with this, but it's not our fault. We're like, we don't order the pieces to the vehicles. Who are you talking to here, people? <laughs> it's not our fault your lady ran into us anyway. <laughs> Almost knocked us off plum off the road, but I'll be quiet. So anyway, we're doing okay. I'm going to sit here if that's okay with you because I've been brainstorming today. So now that we are supposed to be starting to jump out of this insane weather, what I really want you to do, and I know a lot of you already do this, but every single time we go through something, okay, a storm, winter storm, um, a flooding situation, every time you go through a scenario, job situation, job loss, any time you go through anything, maybe you got sick, you will always look around and go, should have this or I should have that. It may, it's probably something you've never had to experience. It could be something that you've never dealt with. It could be a new item that you've never heard of. Like some of you guys have been giving me great suggestions for things to attach to my boots. Well, clearly we don't have that stuff a whole lot down here. We should with this, with the ice situation that we can get. We don't get this every year. Somebody asked me, they're like, do you get this every year? The answer is no, but you can count on some type of event typically. 
sometimes our cold events here in East Tennessee, Southeast Tennessee, will just last for a couple of days. Now we can get cold, don't get me wrong. It's one thing for us to be, you know, 10, 12, 15 degrees. That's not abnormal, but the problem is, is when you have all of this ice and snow on top of it. That's not typical, typical, but it's not unknown either. So what I'm telling you is, is go ahead and expect it. So if I, like I said the other day, God love you. If you're moving down here from like, you know, Ohio or Michigan or Minnesota, or maybe you're coming from a really warm, gushy environment such as California. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's very different here. And um, no, we're not equipped to dig people out. I did see where a, a local um, neighborhood had, they had gotten together. Gosh, James has got it like a sauna in here. Um, whew, hot flash activated. <laughs> Um, there was a neighborhood that got together. Uh, it's not close to me, but I saw it um, on Facebook or somewhere in Knoxville. They they got together and pulled their money together as citizens of a neighborhood, and they hired a service to come in and clear the roads. That's the only way it's getting done. I have no idea if the county schools are going back to school tomorrow. My kids are not there, but I am telling you that the uh, some of the community colleges and the University of Tennessee is attempting to start having things happen again tomorrow, which is Monday. We're really going to more be out of this Tuesday into Wednesday, probably be a bit safer because tonight we're going to get down to 13. So whatever freeze, excuse me, melts today, if it doesn't melt real good, it's going to freeze up again. So we're not completely out of the woods, but here are some of the things that I've been thinking of. And here's what I want you to do. Please comment down below suggestions of things that you have learned or things that you go, I'm going to have this next time. I, I never thought I would need X and I needed this. I can tell you right now, we need more of the uh, what snow melt stuff, uh, salt, et cetera, et cetera. They were sold out days ago here. We did try to get some more, gone. Um, you know, it's one of those things. You live in a climate where something doesn't happen too, too often. You've got some things, then you find out you didn't have enough. The other vehicle is up here, so clearly we already know this and we practice this which is to at least get one or two of your vehicles out of your driveway to a spot that is safe, that if you had to get out and you could get out in an emergency, you're not gonna have any obstacles. So we know about the ice melty melty stuff. Uh, we have some um, pretty big items that we can use to uh, help thaw us out, but it does take a lot to get those items out. So we do have that. Were there any medical needs that you, or items, uh, extra medications? I mean, think about this. If you literally are stuck in your house and you can't even get out, it's not about, you know, a, a societal collapse and things are crazy. This is the situation where we could not get out of our driveway. Uh, who wants to wreck their car right now? Nobody. So what are items that will make you more comfortable next time? That's what I really want to hear from you guys. Because a lot of you guys live in a whole lot cl uh, uh, colder climate <laughs> freezing, than we do. So see, you're used to a lot of these really handy dandy items. I mean, I guess I need a sled and I can hook up Cochise and we can run out of the driveway. <laughs> but we're not going to get very far. And anywhere that we would need to go to really get much of anything, there is a, there is a little um, gas station not too, too far from us. Uh, but we're going to be going a ways to get to a grocery store or whatever, especially if it's by foot. So that's what I want us to discuss today. I depend upon you guys. You depend upon each other here. I depend upon you more than you know, and I want to hear from you. So like I said, I, our clothing is great. We had enough wood heat. Food's not a problem. Animal needs, hay, etc., not a problem. Uh, our water didn't freeze. Hallelujah. Knock on wood. But, you know, you are always going to have things to make things a little bit more difficult. So what are those items? And you can live in a condo. You don't have to live on a farm. It can be anything that you can think of. I also think that it's important for us to think ahead for easy meal planning. And I know we've talked about that with videos in the past. Um, you know, a lot of times when I know bad weather's coming, living at my old house up on the mountain, uh, on the edge of the bluff that would freeze you out up on Grandview Mountain. Um, we got real accustomed to having to do this because the power would go out so much. So when I knew a storm might be coming, even if it was in the summertime and we might get a heavy thunderstorm, I would jump ahead on a few things in case we lost power just to make life easier for mom. The laundry's more caught up. Something was in the crock pot. 
you know, whatever, just to make life easier for mom because you're going to have to be doing things that you probably never thought you'd end up doing anyway. So you don't need any further distractions. But tell me what you think. Tell me how you're doing. Are you starting to warm up a little bit? We're going to hit 30 today. James says we might hit 32, but my phone says 30, so we're in that ballpark. But like I said, starting tomorrow, we're going to bust finally above freezing. We will not drop down below freezing even at night, freezing at night. And uh, by the end of the week, we're going to be in the 60s. It's going to be raining, though. But <laughs> I'm hoping it's an improvement. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you're doing. Give some suggestions. Stay safe out there. we got to bust through this. You guys that are up and, like, living in this 24-7, toughest people, y'all. You really are. We, I totally, totally, totally admire you. All right. Everybody's warm, safe. It's warming up. Uh, we still have electricity. We still have water. We still have a bunch of wood heat going. I think that uh, the test proved itself here, and we made it out okay. Hope you did too. Pray for those that are in great need right now because we know that there's a bunch. More videos coming your way. Like, subscribe, and share. Appreciate you all the time. Thank you so much for being so kind to my about my video yesterday with my Nana. I appreciate y'all. Love you guys. All right. Like, subscribe, and share. Be safe, okay? We'll see you on the next video. Easy. 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 Nobody's going to fall. Everything's good. We're going to walk to the house. Yes. Nice and easy.